Hey, Cedar Valley. You know, it was really interesting to discover on Sunday from John chapter 7 that most of Jesus' family did not believe in him. It specifically says his brothers didn't until the very end of Jesus' life or maybe even just after he had died that they did believe. At least two of them we know. And I want to encourage you, never stop praying for a loved one who does not yet know Jesus. Robert Morris, in his little book called Why Keep Praying, tells a story of a lady who was married to a man for 42 years, and he did not believe in Jesus, but she prayed for him every single day. Well, it happened that on one of his business trips out of state, he was killed in a car accident. And it was a few months later that this woman got a phone call from someone asking about her husband. And she says, well, I'm very sorry, but he passed away um, not long ago. And the man said he was very sorry and that he had met her husband and they exchanged information. He was just calling to see how things were going. And then he asked, could you please tell me what day your husband was killed? And she told him, and she goes, well, then I really need to tell you this story. He goes, this morning, as, or that morning of that day your husband was killed, I got dressed and ready for work as usual, and um, I got this feeling from God that rather than driving to work, I should hitchhike. And so he did, and he walked out to the highway, stuck out of his, out his thumb, and not long afterwards, he was picked up by this woman's husband. And on the way into the city where this man worked and where this lady's husband was going for his business trip, this man who lived there led him to the Lord in the car. And it wasn't long after that he dropped this man off that this lady's husband was killed in a car accident. And he says, I just needed to tell you that he received the Lord while we were driving in the car. He accepted Jesus Christ as his Savior. I just want to encourage you. We don't know God's timing or how we will work, but never give up praying for your loved one that they too would receive the wonderful news of Jesus Christ and they would believe in him as their Savior. Blessings to you.